This is a meditation called Embracing Transformation, and it reflects on the experience of letting go in order to experience new life. As you begin, please read John 11, 1 to 44, and John 12, 24. And if at any point during this meditation you'd like to pause in order to journal or pray or spend more time in your imagination with God, please feel free to do so. In other words, use this however you like. Once you're ready, I invite you to close your eyes. And become aware of this body self that is you. Focus on your breath. Notice the pattern of your breathing as it moves in, as it moves out. Follow your breath in. Follow your breath out. Notice how fast you are breathing. Notice whether you are breathing deeply or with shallow breaths. Notice where your body moves when you breathe. Is the movement in your chest or in your belly? Watch your breathing for a few minutes. Notice any changes that occur. You may find that just attending to your breath will allow you to relax. As you focus and breathe, let your breaths become slower and deeper. Let your body relax and move to a place of peace. Notice where your body is sore or tense. Imagine the breath moving to that place. Gently massaging the tightened knots of tension or fear or anger or stress. Simply allow the breath to open up your body. preparing yourself for prayer. Ask God to bless this meditation and to use it for the good of your mind, body, and spirit.
In your mind's eye, see yourself going down a path. You come to a dark wood. This is a safe place where you are invited and protected by the spirit. You see someone, a wisdom figure, a holy one, sent to take you deeper on your spiritual path. This spiritual one embraces you as a long lost child, looks lovingly into your eyes, offers to be your guide. If you allow it, the Holy One takes your hand. You go deep into the forest together. This is a safe place and you are with the one who desires your highest good. You come to a cave cut out of a rock. Enter the cave with your guide. Feel the walls, the floor. Listen for the sounds in the cave. Know that this is a place for your spiritual transformation. A place for you to let go and to release things that keep you from fullness of life. Your guide places a stone across the entrance. This Holy One asks you to reflect on stones that are blocks in your own life. What are those stony walls that stifle your living? The stones that keep you walled in the stony, silent place of unliving. What are the stones that block your way to communion with God? That block your creativity? That block your livingness? You're being fully alive to be all that God intends you to be. What is the stone that blocks the way to the light and the freedom of life in all its fullness? What is the stone that blocks out fresh air? That keeps you just breathing and recycling the same old stuff over and over again. What is the stone that keeps you from accessing the sacred that is yours as a child of God. The stone may be fear that keeps you paralyzed or makes you run away. 
fear that binds you. The stone may be powerlessness that immobilizes you from taking on your life, that keeps you cut off from your sacred source, locked in the victim role. The stone may be alienation that keeps you lonely, neglected and neglecting. It keeps you from belonging and from inviting others to belong. The stone may be addiction to substance, to work, to perfection, to things. The stone may be anger and hurt held on to for far too long. Whatever your stone is, Allow the Holy Spirit who is with you to help you name it. At this point, you may pause and take some time to reflect or to write in your journal. And then resume part two when you are ready.